Hey guys, so today we're going to do the long range antenna upgrade for the Mavic Pro. First thing you want to do on the corners here, you're going to pop off the two screws. You're going to take these off. You're going to get your screwdriver in here, pry up here, pry up here. This should pop off and then you're going to want to get in here. Um, it's better if you have uh, plastic tools as opposed to a metal tool. Uh, but today I'm going to be using metal tools. Just be very careful if that's all you have, not to damage any of the remote. So I'm going to take these two screws off next here on the side. Need to pop these off here. And at this point, you're just going to pull the face off. Okay. Be very careful. Right here you have the screen and a couple of your buttons. Now we're going to go ahead and take the ribbon off. We're going to remove the front cover. We're literally just trying to get right under this to do the, the install. You want to be very careful with what you're touching. Um, you do have the battery plugged in still. It's not powered on, but still you want to be careful. I'm just going to remove this so I don't damage that. And I'm going to go ahead and unplug this as well. We have two more screws in here. And this bracket will just come right out. Be really careful with it. I unplugged this a second ago. I just want to go ahead and peel that tape back. Save this for later. I'm going to undo the flat cable so I can pull that whole LED screen out. And then here we are. So now I'm going to want to be careful peeling these up and then I'm going to make sure that the wires once they go in the hole they're just going to come back nice and flat and plug onto here and onto here. Now if you can save these uh, you can um, just you're going to crimp them and then pop them out if, if you I mean you're really doing this upgrade and to keep it on there so Sometimes you can just kind of cut them out to save yourself the trouble. Um, but again, it's, it's, it's up to you. If you can get into these, pinch them and pop them out, great. If not, you can clip them and pull them out. I'm going to go ahead and try to save them. If I can't, uh, not a big deal. So that's saving one of them. So if I really, really ever want to go back, I can put these back in. Um, and they should stay. I mean, this is slightly damaged, but I, I do have to pinch it to get it out. Do the same on the other side here. I'll twist it a little bit so I have a, a good angle on each grab while I'm doing it. Be careful with the flat cable right there too. If you damage that, then this whole thing is for nothing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Got it. So you're going to put this in. Um, it comes with a spacer. On one side, it's got a little sticky tab. Go ahead and take that off. Push this up there. Slide that down. And then just get that right there on the top. That way, when you put your nut on, you actually have a place to, to do it. Also, when you're putting this on, you want to keep this nice and flat. Be very careful, do not bend the connection on here. If you bend that connection, these wires are going to be bad and then you're going to have a problem with the, with the signal. So try to hold this as best as you can with your finger there so it's not bending. Tighten it as much as you can without over tightening it, just so it's nice and snug. And then you want to have the least amount of bend possible in here. So this tells you the left and the right so you know which one to put it on. Same thing, just going to center that in there, make it look nice, put my washer on, my nut on. that bend on the inside. And make sure you're pressing straight down. You get it on there. Okay. Now I'm going to get a little hot glue. And I'm just going to hot glue these right there and right there. So you're just going to pop these on, almost like a button. Just push them straight down. Don't try to slide it to the side. Um, you can bend the connection points on there. And, I mean, obviously you've got one chance. So if you damage this, then you're going to damage the whole board. Could damage your wires, but just you know, get them right over the top of it. Just press straight down, and they're just going to snap on on the connection there. So once you have it set up, I'm just going to take these. Make sure there's no bends, and I'm just going to hot glue them down. So they stay put and they don't get in the way of anything else. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and put everything back in. Um, it's going to be a real tight squeeze. So you want to put the ribbon cable back on first. And then we're going to get, I like to put the bottom pegs in and then just slide it back and down. Make sure that my screw holes screw holes are lined up there. Like I said, it's gonna be a little snug. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about, but it will it will stay especially once you get the, the screws back in. So now, Screws here. Yeah. 
plug these back in. Push this back over. Get my tape that I saved. Put that guy right back down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wipe the LED screen down a little bit just in case I got a fingerprint or two on there. If you have some alcohol, clean it up a little bit. Okay, so now this is just going to slide back on here at the top. There's pegs where it'll actually fall into place so you know you're putting it in the right spot. You're going to want to make sure that you get the USB port back down there as well. On the end here, there's a small plastic piece that goes back on. Just as a bumper. Cord button. Okay, so make sure you plug this flat cable back in. You got your screws all in. Uh, your record button is going to go here. This is going to go up to the top on this side. You're going to have a little peg that actually goes in and locks that into place. Okay, so now we've got all of our screws on. So I'm just going to slide this right on. Make sure I got everything lined up. Button works. Both my buttons are on there. And we're in. Okay, we're on, we're on. Okay, so when you snap it on, you're just going to push real tight, make sure everything snaps back into place. Down here, you still have the last two silver screws we're going to put in. Okay. Press your buttons. Make sure things are working as they should. Wheels are working. Okay. Good, good. Now we're going to put this back on. Same thing, everything kind of snaps on a little tough, so. Look at your seams, just make sure that everything is in as far as it can go and that you get a good snap on. Now we're going to add these guys back on here. I 
had to use language project from the from I tried to start one number earlier. We found the computer class, the old clan module, and the Spanish, therefore we couldn't find the control to the craft. When we finished the report, we were able to find the control to the craft. All of you want that in a video feed, what is the VPS on the craft? Which is the case of the video. The total cost of the VPS Okay, now these you can put on either side. So I'll go ahead and put there. I want to put snug, but not too snug. I don't want to mess up. I don't want to tighten it to where this starts spinning again. All right, when you put your antenna on, make sure it's at uh, the angle that I have it here. Go ahead and test it. Everything's powering on. Battery's dying on it, but now I'm going to take it out, connect it, charge it up. going to do some uh, calibration on my sticks, and we should be good to go. If you guys have any questions, give us a call.